Rock and Block. La casa del rock y el metal. Siempre con los mejores contenidos en entrevistas, reportajes, charlas, concursos y un montón de sorpresas para ti, amante del rock. Hoy en Rock and Block Friends presentamos... It's a pleasure for me to be with you today um, from Rock and Block. Um, now we are talking about the world to end all wars that will bring up in the 4th of March. How about the album? What will we find there? A oh, collection of stories of the Great War. Uh, sort of a brother or a sister to our previous album, The Great War. And here we're focusing more on, I guess, some of the greatest hits in the sense of the stories we're taking already, because everybody knows of Lawrence of Arabia and the Red Baron. Yeah. And there are a few of those here. I mean, every, I guess most people know about the Christmas truce, but I think there are more yeah. unknown stories on this album. Uh, for example, we find Lady of the Dark. You're talking about a woman into a uh, fight and a battle, and that's really nice. Or even have fight, as you know, you're bringing different identities into how to deal with the war. And I think that's really nice and open new narratives into the world. Could you tell us more about them? It's the 369th Fighter Regiment. Uh, Um, from Harlem, and most of them were Af African Americans or Puerto Rican soldiers. And they were, well, most American soldiers at that time didn't want to fight alongside the people they considered black, so they were handed yeah. off to the French, and then they were, uh, the French would fight with them though, and they called them the Men of Bronze. Wow, so you're You're really finding and rewriting the history, and that's really cool. I, I, I never expect that. <laughs> was so, so, I, I'm, wow, I think, wow, <laughs> I'm at <the> age now. <laughs> so, thank you very much for, for this data. Um, what, what makes that Sabaton uh, tries to identify the band with war issues at the beginning? Well, it made sense for us because, I mean, in the early days we were singing about, I would call, normal topics in heavy metal, but okay. it was never interesting for us to write lyrics. But then one day we decided that we were going to sing about military history, and that was in 2004, I think it was. And yeah. pretty much, not every song, but most songs we have done, and most albums we have done since then, has been about military history. Yeah. Um, what about the songs? Because Sabaton is really nice when that it has a clear identity into the sound, not only into the lyrics, um, but we also find that identity is changing and evolving. Um, how, how will you describe this evolution into this new album? Oh, into uh I, I guess it's a bit, a bit more variation on this one. I mean, in a sense, we there has to be some, as you said, evolution is the key word here. There has to be some sense of evolution coming forward at all times. Uh, but at the same time, we don't want to lose our identity and core identity as a band. So musically, mm -hmm. I'd say, you know, this is um, not crazy far off from what we have done before, but it's a very mm -hmm. big difference from our first album, you know. So nice. Um, about how the creative process was, uh, I, I guess you did it into the lockdown or even in, during COVID times. And how was it? Uh, well, COVID uh, pandemic changed everything, obviously, for every musician and everyone in the entertainment and sports industry. And it's weird how, how much it changed our lives in every way, except how we make an album, because that was pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, what about the aesthetic? I mean, the, the cover artwork uh, is really nice and hard also uh, with a cross, a skeleton, a soldier. Uh, what about this idea of the cover art? Yeah, it's a thing that we're developed with our bass player, Par, and uh, oh. the Bulgarian mm -hmm. artist, Peter Salai. 
and uh, we sort of wanted uh, the artwork to continue on the previous album's uh, artwork as well, which also featured one soldier, but he was he was still alive at that point uh, and um, in anguish, sort of. Now this man is sad, but on the other hand, at this time the war is over. Yeah, of course. Um, Will, are you open-minded to go into another kind, another world, even in Latin America or even Spain or even Africa? I don't know. In next albums, uh, we don't know where we're gonna go yet. We have several <laughs> ideas actually. Uh, <laughs> and we, we don't want to divulge them because we've done so in the past and we told people what we were planning to doing and then people got angry when we didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we found out it's better for us to shut the fuck up and you know just <laughs> go go with what we feel but I mean everything is of interest for us. I mean certainly yeah. we, if we feel right now at least that we've, yes. we've covered most of uh, World War One, what we want to do so I, I'm guessing our next album will not be another World War One related album. Uh, how are the shows? How is this year going on? Uh, we are starting the Swedish tour. Uh, we have a Swedish tour first, kicking off in April, and then we move on to festivals this summer. And then uh, uh, we are looking into it. It's still a little bit of a mess with the pandemic, knowing where to play and when, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. I am. The rest of the band, how are they feeling or how are they? <laughs> oh, we, we're good actually. We met, uh, all of us met last week. Uh, so we, oh. some, uh, we have some stuff to do, you know, when, when releasing an album, there's on top of interviews, there's also stuff to yes. be signed and yeah. pictures to be taken and stuff like that. So we were <laughs> together for almost a week doing, well, I read that schedule, had some fun and we probably had too much beer and gin tonics. Yeah, for sure. Um, will you be minded to go into another kind of projects uh, uh, that are could be identified in Sri Lanka, like uh, comics or new formats or even drinks or beers or something like that? Are you I, think, I mean, I'm open to anything that makes sense for us or, yeah. or is fun for us. So since yeah. we deal with military history, if there was a you know video games about military history yeah. that we've worked with before, makes sense for us. So yes, and uh, I like beer, and beer is fun. So yes, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. but let's say um, swimsuits, maybe not because I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, well, do you want to tell us something to Spanish people? Yeah, thank you for all the good times. I mean, it's a fucking fantastic <laughs> country to play in when dealing with the crowds. And we're coming on the 1st of July to Resurrection Fest. And then we're yeah. on the 15th of July in the Metal Paradise Fest. So that I'm really looking forward to going back on stage again now. <laughs> so nice to see you here. So I think I have enough information. Uh, Alice, you, you want to tell something else? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, so you're really nice and thank you very much for your time and, and good luck and all the success in the world to this album. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye. Bye.